In this video, I am going to talk in details about the safety and efficacy of Sinopharm vaccine on kids aged between 3 to 17 years. For this study, the kids were divided into three groups. Group 1 had kids aged between 3 to 5, Group 2 had kids aged between 6 to 12, and Group 3 had kids aged between 13 to 17. They gave three dose regime in each group, 2 microgram, 4 microgram, or 8 microgram. In each group, there were three doses. The doses were given on day 0, day 28, and day 56. That is, it is a three-dose vaccine trial and three types of doses were given in each group. There was a control group where the vaccine was not given. It is required to compare the results of the vaccinated and the unvaccinated group. They looked at the different types of side effects that occurred in these three groups. The most common side effect was pain in the injection site. Let's see the data in deep more details. 4% of the participants had pain in group 3 to 5, 9.1% of the participants had pain in group 6 to 12, and 7.9% of the participants had pain in group 17 to 13. It was found that the participants in group 6 to 12 and 17 to 13 years had more pain in the injection site compared to the control group that did not get the vaccine. The other two common side effects were fever and cough, which ranged from mild to moderate in all the three age groups. In age group 3 to 5, 12.7% of the participants had fever. In age group 6 to 12, 5.2% had fever. And in age group 13 to 17, 10.3% had fever. To know in more details about each group, please refer to the article. I will provide the link in the description. The frequency of occurrence of fever was less after the second and the third dose. Next common side effect was cough and in age group 3 to 5, 8.5% in vaccinated group had cough. In 6 to 12, 3.2% had cough and in the age group 13 to 17, 2.4% of the participants had cough in the vaccinated group. There was no report of upper respiratory tract infection. The side effects were not significantly different from the control group which did not get the vaccine. So it seems that the side effects are under control and not anything very severe. However, in the age group 6 to 12, one severe acute allergic reaction was reported on day 4 after the second dose in the 2 microgram group. It was found that the participant had previous history of allergy and thus was not given the third dose. They also looked at the side effects like headache, diarrhea, vomiting, fatigue, itching, etc. I am not going into the exact percentage here. Please refer to the article description in the link. In overall, age group 13 to 17 had more systematic adverse reactions like fever, cough, diarrhea, vomiting, etc. So, it seems that the side effects are under control and so the Sinopharm vaccine seems to be safe for children aged 13 to 17. Now, we have to understand what percentage of participants produced antibodies and what percentage produced neutralizing antibodies? 28 days after the first dose, in the age group 3 to 5, 75 to 91 percent produced antibodies. In the age group 6 to 12, 95 to 100 percent produced antibodies. And in the age group 13 to 17, 99 to 100 percent produced antibodies. By day 56, 100 percent of the participants produced antibodies. It was seen in the dose group where 4 microgram and 8 microgram of vaccine was given, the amount of antibody was significantly higher compared to the 2 microgram group. And what about the neutralizing antibodies? Remember, neutralizing antibodies are specific antibodies that stop the virus from entering our cell. All groups produce detectable amount of neutralizing antibody by day 28. By day 56, that is 28 days after the second dose, all the groups produced neutralizing antibody to the level found in the adult population. However, in the age group 3 to 5, on 28th day, the total antibody and neutralizing antibody was lower. This kind of lower antibody response might be due to the undertrained immune response in the younger generation. So, overall, Sinopharm seems to be safe with controllable side effects 
and produces good amount of antibody. But what about the efficacy percentage in the kids? In this study, they have not looked at the efficacy percentage. However, in a bridging study in UAE, which included 900 kids aged between 3 to 17 years, it was found that Sinopharm gave 100% protection against severe symptoms and overall protection was found to be 72%. So, efficacy seems to be good, it is safe and it produces good amount of antibody. However, apart from antibody, T-cell response is also very very important in case of long-term immunity. However, in this study, they have not looked at the T-cell response. Moreover, they did not look at the neutralizing effect of the antibodies on the different variants, which is very very important to understand how effective it is on the different variants. China and UAE have approved Sinopharm for kids aged between 3 to 17 years. What about your country? Have they approved any vaccine for the kids? Let me know in the comment the name of the vaccine and the country name where it has been approved. That's it for today guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more updates. Thank you.